Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Makeup with B. Today I'm going to be talking you through a look I did recently that's really nice and fresh, really ready for spring, so it's going to be really nice and peachy. But we're going to start off with priming my face. With the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Oh my gosh, it's got such a long name. Now onto foundation, I'm going to be taking again the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 150. Now I'm going to be doing half of my face at a time because this foundation does dry down pretty quickly. So I'll dab the first half with my Real Technique sponge and then I'll get working on the second half. Now the flawless foundation is all over, I am going to be doing some concealing and I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Concealer by Face Studio, popping a bit of that on my hand and applying it with my Nude by Nature concealer brush. I'm going to be putting that under my eyes, along my nose, forehead, chin and I'm also going to be using it to prime my eyes as well and just blending that all in with my, again, with my Real Techniques beauty sponge. Now to set that concealer under my eyes and on my eyelids, I'm going to be using the Mecca Max Blur Veil in the shade Light and I'm going to be dabbing that under my eyes and on top of my eyelids. I'm not going to be baking today, I'm not going to do anything too crazy, um, just making sure everything's nice and set so I've got a lovely base for my eyeshadow look. Now onto my eyes, as promised in the intro to this video, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette to make a really beautiful peachy spring coloured eye look today. Starting off with White Peach, I'm just going to do a wash of cream colour so I've got a nice beautiful base. And with a more tapered brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Puree and kind of carve out that crease just on the outer and bringing it in more towards the center of the eye. Now with a smaller brush I'm going to be taking the shade Summer Yum which is a bit darker and a bit pinker and I'm going to be really working that in the outer V so along the outer edge of my lash line and bringing it up into the crease to make it a bit more defined. To make sure there aren't any harsh lines I'm just going to go over with a nice fluffy brush and make sure everything's nice and blended. Now going in with Peach Pit, which is a shimmery purpley colour, I'm just going to run that along the lash line. I'm not going to be using any eyeliner, so I just thought it would be nice to make the lash line a bit more defined with a nice beautiful purpley tone. And finally, just tapping on the shade Luscious, which is a shimmery pink shade. And off camera, I just ran puree underneath my lash line to finish off the eye look. Now to set the rest of my face, I went in again with the Mecca Max Blur Veil in the shade Light, just to make sure everything's locked in place. Although this foundation is very matte, so I didn't need a lot. Now for bronzer, I use the Sports Girl Bronze Me Bronzing Powder and I love this because it's got a massive pan with heaps of product and it's so cheap, super affordable and a really amazing colour that lasts on the skin and isn't muddy, it just gives you a really beautiful glow. Now for one of my favourite parts, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Papadome Peach Blush and I'm going to be popping that on the apples of my cheeks in a dabbing motion so that I don't lift off any of that foundation. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter and I am going to be popping the shade Mean Money on first. This shade gives a really beautiful everyday glow. I 
but to amp it up a little bit we're gonna put Hustler Baby on a fan brush which is the more shimmery side it's got a little bit more glitter just to give this look a bit of extra oomph For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Ico Black Magic Mascara and on top of that I'm going to pop my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. For eyebrows, I went in off camera with my Benefic Brow and now I'm going over with the Gimme Brow Eyebrow Gel. For the lips, I'm going to go in with this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Serenata. And I'm going to do an ombre lip, so I'm going to start with this darker shade all over the lip. Now going in with this lighter shade Perla and just popping that on the center of my lips and I'm going to be blurring it out a little bit with a um, lip brush. Now to set everything down and lock it in, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I love this because it's oil controlled and I need that in my life. So here is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!